The Faculty of the Humanitarian Engineering and Science program is unique in our ability to integrate between technical problem solving and engaging communities and the social scientific aspects of engineering problem solving. Our faculty bridges uh, traditional engineering approaches with deep community engagement in order to provide technology solutions that respond to the needs of actual communities. That program focuses on connecting technical engineering problem solving with deep community engagement so that our engineering graduates are prepared to work in real world contexts with actual community members in solving engineering problems. This program really changed the way I look at engineering. So I came in just really excited to do engineering to help doing more work with Engineers Without Borders and NGOs. But after taking some classes and learning about engineering culture, technical narrowness, meritocracy, and learning about the military industrial complex and how it influences engineering, I realized that engineering to help and being you know, a service engineer is a lot more complicated. There's a lot more ethics that go into it. And just because you have good intentions doesn't mean you're actually doing good work. I learned a lot more about being culturally aware, reading a lot of papers and social responsibility, corporate responsibility, and just how to be a better ethical engineer, things that I probably would not have considered if I wasn't in the program. The best part of my job is really the students we work with. They are so thoughtful and earnest about what we're teaching them and what they're learning and learning to really work carefully and attentively with communities in a way that maybe they haven't thought about before but that is really meaningful and compelling to them and I feel like once that light bulb turns on for them it never turns off again and it's so incredible and rewarding to get to work with them. Some of the benefits to working on the ground in communities to receive engagement are the different relationships that you can build. You get to have that personal, up close contact with community members. And I think that's really beneficial for building relationships, building rapport, building trust, which you definitely want to establish when you're presenting different options that you'd like to implement into a community. I also think it's beneficial for us as engineers because we get a better understanding of the environment that we're working in, the cultural context, different stakeholders who will be involved and how we identify those and we just get a better grasp to understand the different components of the project we need to address. HE students are so thoughtful and earnest about partnership with the people who will be impacted by their work. So they really want to do design in partnership with communities. They really care about designs that will be useful and meaningful and sustainable. You should be willing to admit when you're wrong and be willing to ask questions and learn from the other people in your classes. So I came in, you know, straight from Engineers Without Borders thinking that I was already really in tune with humanitarian engineering and I knew what it is versus maybe people who didn't have that background. But as I started to learn in my classes that NGO organizations aren't always 100% perfect. There's a lot you can still learn. There's a lot to improve on with engineering to help work. I think one of the biggest things engineers can gain from this program is just understanding the mindset that you might have when you're approaching communities and how you can shift that to be more holistic and integrative to consider other forms of knowledge and other skill sets that engineering may not highlight. Coming from a really large engineering school, it's been cool to come to this smaller, really niche program because everybody who is attracted to this program is sort of like-minded, at least in terms of being a non-traditional engineer, as well as the faculty who most have backgrounds in engineering, but their interests have led them on a different path. Coming into this community of like-minded people that care about helping communities and care about doing it, ethically and, and mitigating some of the problematic histories of uh, community development is really, really cool and to be able to bounce ideas off of people with similar priorities. Our students are um, an incredible mix of people who come from different parts of the world. Part of the excitement of our program in Humanitarian Engineering and Science 
is the kinds of jobs and the kinds of projects in which our students are working. One example is a, a job in a community development liaison where students actually serve as translators of technical information between public facility companies and the communities that are supposed to be served by these um, public services. We have students working in renewable energies. Mines is a really exciting place in this growing field of humanitarian engineering and science for a couple of reasons. The first is that Mines itself is small, but it's still a research university, so students get to work with world-class faculty who really define the fields that we're studying. But at the same time, the faculty know all of our students and we get to spend a lot of time in class getting to know them and mentoring them outside of class to think about their future pathways after Mines. The faculty is really attentive to our professional development as well. The HE Masters of Science program is really exciting because it's very unique. It brings together humanities, social sciences, technical engineering concepts in a way that is not prevalent or maybe present at all in other programs and gives students a really unique training to go out into the world and do good work as engineers that are thoughtful and have advanced skills in multiple disciplines.